So Apple has released its beta 2 of iOS 26. Let's check out what's new. So first things first is that the CarPlay on your iPhone splash screen has changed slightly. It's got, had a little bit more refinement. Wallpapers has pretty much stayed the same. And unfortunately, we've gone from three widgets on a higher resolution display now to just two. So that's really annoying and I really wish Apple reinstate that third stack. Also on the widget screen, it's a lot slightly lighter. It used to be a lot darker than this in beta one. That's improved as well. Otherwise, widgets have performed just the same as they have earlier in beta one. Over in Apple Maps, the reporting is now back with some additional options to choose from. And if we set a direction under navigation, everything's a little bit more got drop shadows got some sort of transparency as well under these little bubbles as well as some shadows so it's a little bit cleaner nicer obviously everything's all blurring underneath that glass panels here which is quite nice we've got a menu option here to which you can then enable auto play and auto mix for improved cross fading between tracks over in the podcast app we now have an ability to increase and decrease the rate of speed nice and quickly and you can actually tap the middle one as well instead of um, tapping the bottom one you can tap this one too to increase and it will loop across if you're just doing it whilst you're driving over in calendars you drill down into a further section to actually get more content a little bit more metadata fortunately calling takes over the full screen Whereas if you get an incoming call, it will overlay over the bottom of the display here. And another thing in maps, as I said in beta one, that pinch and zoom is coming. In beta two, it has been enabled, but unfortunately on my display, it still is not compatible. Also in the phone app, we've got a shortcut to the voice messages. So you can actually get straight to your voicemail. So that's pretty much it. It's a shame that we haven't got that pinch and zoom to show you here on this particular display, but no big changes just yet. And sad to see that stack of widgets gone from three to two, but we are getting some slow improvements across the board just ahead of its release of its public beta in July. So I'll be back if there's any significant changes in the beta as we get closer to its final release. So subscribe if you haven't. Let me know any questions or any other features that you might have found in iOS 26 beta 2. Until then, if you'd like to support my channel, you can do so by sending us a super thanks down below. Or you can support me up in this QR code here. And you can support me through Buy Me A Coffee too. I really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.